allergies are driving you crazy this year, you are not alone. Nope, I'm right there with you, especially for people in the Central Valley. And, and we show the file video of the people right. sneezing because <laughs> yeah. cameras are always on people when they sneeze. Yeah, yeah right. CBS 13's Dom Garcia is getting answers on why that area is one of the worst in the country for allergies. If you're headed to Modesto, pack the tissues. That area coming in is the fifth worst in the nation for grass allergies. Does that surprise you at all? You know, it, it, it doesn't so much. Dr. Jeffrey Balduzzi is an allergist in the area and says they've been slammed this season. A lot of individuals are having more difficulty controlling their symptoms um, and the normal things that they maybe do to treat their symptoms, either with over-the-counter medicines or other uh, therapeutic options maybe aren't working quite as well. So. so what makes Modesto and the surrounding area so bad? Dr. Balduzzi says the agricultural nature of the area plays a big part. Add in all the rain we got this winter and... Where we're seeing some of the highest pollen counts now here, even into um, you know May, which ordinarily is a, is, is a problematic time of the season, but the magnitude is... is increased at this point. Dr. Balduzzi says if over-the-counter medication helps your symptoms, you probably don't need to see a specialist. But if they're just too much to bear or have been lingering for years, you may want to consider it. And this year, you're going to have some extra time to figure that out. He adds that our prolonged winter and all that moisture means allergy season may stick around a little longer than usual. Which I would suspect not only is feeding into the high pollen counts now, but may result in sort of the perpetuation of the allergy season even longer. Than now, in addition to over-the-counter medication or seeing a specialist, Dr. Balduzzi suggests keeping your windows closed, changing your home's filters, and even wearing a mask when you go outside.